That's going to be good. Uh, once a month, we have a very special dinner. It surrounds itself around a cooking class that we give, and it has different themes, and you can see what we're providing on any particular month if you check us online and or on Facebook. All the food that, and all the recipes that you have this evening can literally be done in advance. As you will see, I mean, that's what I did to be able to expedite this as efficiently as possible. Um, you could take tidbits of it if you wanted to and serve it to um, family and friends. Uh, Valentine's Day is the whole theme behind it, so everything's a little bit sensuous or sassy or sweet or something fantastic like that. But we'll start with the oysters. We're going to start with the oyster po' boys, and then we'll get peaky toe crab on the black corn cakes with the avocado concasse and the cilantro cream sauce. And then after that, we're going to have the cumin scented uh, pork tenderloin with the goat cheese on melted crustade. And we're going to be doing it. Oyster po' boy is something that you get from New Orleans. And um, that's got a little panko crumb and blue cornmeal. I'm putting in a little bit of herb just for some color. See, you just got to get everything ready when you do it. A little salt. And you'd fill it up with oil only maybe about a half an inch deep. And it's going to be served with a, with a fennel coleslaw. You know what else is really good? If you make coleslaw like this, just use rice wine vinegar, a little canola oil, put some blue cheese in it. Julienne, zucchini, summer squash, carrots, and fennel. Oh my God. That's the best freaking coleslaw you'll ever have. Okay, there's celery salt and um, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Today we're using Cane's mayonnaise. I, you know, if you live in Maine, you'll use helmets. If you're down south, it's Miracle Whip. But if you're at Woodman's, you use Cane's, don't you? Yes, we do. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of chive in here for color. Okay, so that part is there. Um, I was gonna use Parker House rolls, but I ended up getting brioche instead. Peaky toe is the hardest crab in the world to pick. If you go to L.L. Beans, there's a little place on the right hand side just before you get there, and that's all they pick. Um, I have it mixed up here with just a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of olive oil. And then I made some avocado concasse. I made it up in advance. It's, the recipe is fairly simple. Um, avocado, I took it and I macerated it in, um, in a pan, in, um, in a pot, I mean, a little mixing bowl, added some lime juice to it and just a little bit of salt and add a little bit of dairy product. So I took the black beans, cooked them off with celery, carrot, and onion. Half of it, you take it and puree it in a, in a food processor, add it back in. When you see your recipe, add two eggs and one cup of breadcrumbs. I forgot to get that in there. If you don't, they're not going to cook, okay? I use a lot of canola oil because it does not impart any flavor at all. Okay, they're going to go in like this. I'm going to let Franco finish these off. I've already got them done in advance. But you're going to cook them two minutes on each side. All right? And you can do them in advance, which makes it pretty easy. And when they're done, they're going to look like this. All right? I know they don't look real pretty. It's black beans, okay? You could use pinto beans, I suppose. Um, so then I'm going to put this on top. And the other thing that's nice about this, it is, it's a portioning technique, but it's also fast. Now, the next thing is this lovely pork tenderloin, all right? When I use pork, I brine pork just like I brine chicken. So when I, uh, you have the recipe for the brine, it's got kosher salt, uh, brown sugar, spring water, celery, Spanish onions, bay leaf, peppercorns, a little bit of sage, and I sit in, I let it sit in here from 12 to 24 hours. This was in for 12 hours, okay? Um, just mark it off on the grill, and when it's done, it's going to look like this, okay? But what we do is after it um, comes off of the grill, I rub it with mustard that has a little bit of canola oil in it, and the pork is seasoned with salt and pepper. And then we roll it in toasted cumin seeds. Okay, I, I let the goat cheese warm up a little bit. Makes it easier to work with. Goat cheese from Vermont. Yummy. I'm checking my corn sauce back here. Making sure it's looking good. Nice color. Yummy. Um, then we have to get the um, oysters on it next. Okay. 
And so this is your trilogy of hors d'oeuvres. These are a fork and, you know, so it's a little bit bigger than normal. Yay.